Hey guys, it's Maddie and welcome back to my channel or welcome to the channel if you are new here. This is going to be a not so light video. It's going to be quite a serious one and this is a very impromptu video at that that I'm putting together quickly. I'll be including some art I did a little while ago just so there's something to look at while I talk about this. It's been a while actually since I did a art related video but here's one since I've been picking up graphic art lately so just something to look at while we talk about a very serious topic that has become a very big problem. So what I'm going to talk about is the issue that is going on where the mangaka for Fruits Baskets art is being reposted when she has clearly stated over and over again, more than once, multiple times because it keeps happening, to not repost it. And this is the art from her Twitter. It's her personal art that she publishes to her Twitter after each episode airs. So she'll do an illustration based on the episode for us, which is super cool. But the problem is that people are still reposting and resharing their art and editing it when she has clearly stated not to. And because this keeps happening and it's getting on my nerves so much, I need to A, talk about it and inform you guys <laughs> that this is a problem and to stop it and also just rant about it because I am so sick of it. First off, since there's no confusion about the matter, Art from the manga straight from the Fruits Basket manga or from Fruits Basket Another is totally fine to repost because the rights to that art also belong to the manga companies that are associated with it. So it's completely fine to repost that. But what I'm talking about is the art that she posts directly and only to her Twitter that solely belongs to her that she's requesting not to repost. And I also want to disclaim that the art that she posted from last year is not watermarked. So if someone is posting that art, usually it's because they don't know and I've come across a few people that I've commented on the repost of that art saying, hey, Natsuki Takia has requested not to repost this art because she does not like that. And I'm sure you just don't know because it's not watermarked. And in all those situations, the person just didn't know that she doesn't like it to be reposted and they got the art from somewhere else like Pinterest, which I totally understand. They just didn't know. And in every case where that has happened, the poster has taken it down, which is great. And they totally understand. They just did not no. So this isn't really directed at anyone who has been in that scenario. What it is directed at is the people who are reposting her art from this season that is clearly watermarked, cropping out the watermark part of it and reposting it when they clearly know and understand that the author has requested and asked not to repost it. That is what just disgusts me. So what really prompted me to finally make this video and just discuss how much of an issue this is, is that yesterday I came across someone's post where they reposted Takia's latest illustration and blatantly cropped out the watermark so that it wasn't there. So I informed a group chat that I am in about the post so that we could work to get it removed and one of my mutuals from that group chat commented on the person's post asking them to take it down and the response from this person oh my gosh the nerve that they had they just deleted her comment and blocked her and ignore it which really shows the lack of consideration that they have for the author and her art to just ignore our comments to take it down and block the person and just pretending like it doesn't exist. Like what the heck is wrong with you? And I am going to put in this person's Instagram handle so that hopefully if the reposted art gets reported enough, it will get taken down. So it will be on the screen. So please, if you can go on this person's profile and report the most recent post that they have made or one of the most recent posts that they made. I can't show the post because I don't want to redistribute Takia's art on my channel or anywhere for that matter. But I think the post kind of stands out that it is artwork because the rest of their posts are just directly from the anime. But the post I'm talking about definitely looks like artwork. 
and that's the one that needs to get reported. So please do that if you are able to because I really want to get this post taken down and clearly this person will not listen when we're telling them please take it down so hopefully Instagram will do something about it but unfortunately Instagram I find does not take reports really well so I'm not super optimistic that they'll do anything about it but it is worth a try and sadly this is not the only case where I've seen someone post one of her recent art and just ignore everyone saying to take it down because the mangaka does not like it which which is just appalling because I don't understand how you can be a fan of the series and yet disrespect the author in such a way when the author has said multiple times not to repost her art. It is so disrespectful. I don't understand it. It's like why even call yourself a fan if you're going to disrespect the author that way. It is gross. I have spoken up about this on all my socials which is Tumblr, Instagram, everywhere I can get the message out so hopefully people will stop. And for the most part, everyone has been cooperative, agreeing with me, which is great, but I have seen some comments sent my way that are just so f ignorant, it drives me crazy. And there are two types of comments that I have gotten before. The first one is if the art is posted to the public, it's free to reshare and that it belongs to the public because it's been shared with everyone. That is false. Just because an artist posts their work on social media, that does not give you the right to reshare it. It still does not belong to you. It belongs to the artist. The artist is just giving you the privilege to see it. And another comment I get is, it's fine to repost it if I give credit. Credit in this case does not matter if the mangaka has stated not to repost it, has requested that. It does not matter if you give credit. When they say don't repost it, don't repost it. The credit is null in that case. In these cases, when these comments are sent my way, you are just trying to make excuses to repost her art and justify reposting it by giving these reasons which are totally invalid. Bottom line, it does not matter if you disagree with it, if you don't understand it, if the author is telling you do not repost their art do not repost it. I don't understand why that is such a hard concept to grasp. It does not matter if you do not agree with it. Just respect Takia's wishes and don't repost it. It is that simple. Anyone who is ignoring that, reposting it anyway, is showing their true colors and that they do not respect the author by posting it anyway, which is so disappointing. And if you want to know the reasons why reposting her art hurts her and why she's probably requesting not to, it's because if you are reposting someone else's art, you are redirecting the recognition the artist should be getting for their work to your post. Just think about it like this. If a post that is art from another artist gets more likes than the original post that the author made showing their art, that is really going to hurt the author and it's really not fair at all. In turn, that messes with the income that the mangaka should be getting from her art because your post of their art is getting all the recognition and that is just not fair. And this goes for all artists. This is why I have stopped reposting fan art because ever since Natsuki Takia requested not to have her art reposted, I started to understand that it's actually a problem to repost anyone's fan art or art in general to your account because it really hurts the income that they could be making from that art because your posts of their art are getting recognition that should be going to them. And I don't think it really matters if you credit them. You're still not linking directly the original source to their art and their post of their art, which I think really does hurt the artist. That's why I really want to advocate for just not reposting art or fan art in general because I think it really does hurt the artist. And now that I've been educated on the matter, I do see that it is a problem that really should stop. Unless you get permission from the artist directly to repost it, I don't think it's okay to repost 
fan art, especially if the artist, and in this case who we're talking about, which is the manga of Fruits Basket, requests not to post it because it upsets her. I'm really disappointed right now because I think the Fruits Basket fandom is still the best fandom that I have ever been a part of. There are so many incredibly kind people in this fandom that are so amazing, but I think this is the biggest fault that the fandom has by reposting the author's art when she has clearly stated not to and the fact that it is still happening just hurts me because I feel so bad for the author especially how she has stated like four or five times at this point do not repost my art and people are still doing it and it makes me feel so bad because she has given us the privilege of seeing her art and I'm afraid that if this does continue that she will stop just so it doesn't get reposted, which would be really heartbreaking. So the people who are reposting her art are potentially ruining it for the rest of the fandom if she decides not to share her art anymore, and that would be terrible. So please don't do this. Please do not make us look bad because this is a prominent issue for the Western fandom, which is really making us look bad. So it needs to stop. And hopefully by making this video, I can help a little. I'm sure it still won't do much, but I'd want to just help in any way I can. I've already ranted about this on all of my socials so I've been pretty loud about it but any way I can any way I can use my platforms to help in this matter and support the author then I really want to do it. If you come across any of Takia's personal art on any social media that is not directly from her please do say something about it. I really encourage you to ask the poster to take down the post so that we can stop it getting respread. Of course, this is the internet and everything gets circulated on the internet. So it's still unfortunately going to be up on certain places that are just out of our control to take it down. But if you do come across any of her art that is reposted, please ask the poster to take it down so we can stop the spread of it. And I will also link Natsuki Takia's Twitter down in the description so you can actually see what her art looks like so you're able to recognize it. And I will also link it so that you can see the art for yourself from the original source because I know I've been getting asked where do I actually see her art because they can't see it since it's not allowed to be reposted. And I just always redirect them to her Twitter profile. So it'll also be in this description box if you wanna see her art, which is so freaking beautiful. She's so talented and I love how her art style has changed so drastically throughout the years. It's so different now from what it was in the manga, but it still looks the same. She's just improved so much. It is amazing and I definitely want her to get the recognition for her art that is not coming from these reposters. So definitely check it out. I think that is it. That is all for my rant. I'm sorry if I got super heated, but this is really fresh. So I've been so angry all morning because of this. It's driving me crazy. It's a problem that should not be a problem. People should just listen and stop it. It's so simple, but it's just a lack of respect and not caring on these people who blatantly repost her art when it's watermarked. It's ridiculous and it needs to stop. Regarding the art that I've been doing throughout this whole video, it is Hajime from Fruits Basket Another, although he looks more like Kyo, unfortunately. It was really hard for me to pick his hair color since it's kind of like Kyo's but more of a brownish but I think I made it still too orange so he just looks like Kyo anyway but I tried even though it was hard and I gave up midway through and just called it a day but I think it turned out all right I definitely need to continue to practice my graphic art skills. Anyway, thank you guys so much for listening to what I had to say, and I'll be back with a normal video really soon. <laughs> Bye!